Hello everyone, welcome to Blue's Economics. In today's session, we will discuss about the meaning and some of the important characteristics of utility. We know that utility is a very important concept in economics. When we study about the demand and supply of various goods and services in an economy or while we talk about why people demand various goods and services, we must know the meaning and concept of utility of various goods and services. Because if goods and services do not have the utility, then people will not demand the goods and services. So what is utility? Utility is nothing but the one satisfying power of a commodity or a service. This is the quality possessed by a particular good or service that have the power to satisfy human wants. For example, we use food when we are hungry. If food do not have the power or the quality to remove our hunger, then we will not use any kind of food when we are hungry. Okay, so utility can also be defined as the value in use of a commodity because the satisfaction we get from the consumption of a good or a service is its value in use. If we do not use the good or service, then that particular good or service can become valueless. For example, water, land, electricity or any kind of services, suppose a teacher teaching or providing knowledge, a doctor treating his or her patients, etc. If those services or the goods do not have the utility to satisfy human needs, then those goods and services will become valueless or people will not demand for those goods and services. Now, let us see some of the important characteristics of utility. The first characteristic is that utility and usefulness. By utility, we mean the one satisfying power of a commodity, while by usefulness, we mean the benefit obtained from a commodity. A commodity that is useful will also possess some utility, but a commodity that possess utility may not always be useful. Okay? The second characteristic is that utility and satisfaction. Utility is the power of a good to satisfy human wants, right? But the satisfaction is the result of utility. Only after using a good or service that possess the utility, we get the satisfaction after utilizing as a result, okay? The third characteristic is that utility is subjective. It is purely a psychological concept. So, utility of a good can differ from one person to another person. For example, if a person consumes alcohol, then for that person, alcohol has the utility to satisfy his or her wants, okay? But if a person who do not consume alcohol, then for that non-alcoholic person, the alcohol will not have any utility. Okay, so utility differs from one person to another person. The next characteristic is that utility is relative, which means that a commodity may possess different utility at different times or at different places or for different person. For example, the woolen cloths have more utility in Kashmir than in Delhi or in Mumbai. Again, umbrella has more utility in rainy seasons than in summer. Okay. The next characteristic is utility is abstract. Utility is abstract which cannot be seen or cannot be touched. As we have already known that after utilizing a good or service, we get the satisfaction as a result. And we cannot see or we cannot touch the satisfaction, only we can feel the satisfaction after we utilize the goods and service to fulfill our needs or wants. So, these are some of the important characteristics of utility. So, this is for all today. Thank you.